Good evening, everybody. Matrix here, and here's my watch list for May 9th. Pulling up the futures here real quick, we are gapping down uh, almost 15 points. That's about roughly a dollar fifty from the close. So, uh, with that said, uh, the spy is looking very weak. Um, the trade talk starts tomorrow, and uh, on Friday, Trump is announcing that uh, they are going to increase tariffs, or so they have made it uh, very concrete in his tweet that they are announcing tariffs on Friday. So uh, I am expecting a more downside to uh, the overall market. Let's take a look at the market right now. Today was definitely a chop day in the morning. I mean, as you can see, it just literally chopped around and hang, hung around. Eventually, we got a cover pop that just sold off and would not sustain, right? This double top was gold. I'm pretty sure uh, members of Trick Trade, especially Trick, he looks for these. Uh, I'm sure he caught it. I caught some of this action on the way down, but I didn't do it on the spy. Basically, the whole market pulled at this time. And uh, I was in lift and I caught that all the way down. Uh, I actually traded lift twice today and I shorted it uh, a couple of times for really good gains. Uh, we can go over that in a bit when I bring up the lift chart. Overall, uh, the market is sitting at uh, very near its pre-market lows today. Uh, I do think at the open we're going to get a gap down or pre-market come down a little bit and then test these lows again at around what? 285.75 okay and then from there we could get like a little gap fill back up and uh this 287 was pretty key you know what let's bring in a 30 minute chart let's see gap fill back up to 287.5 yeah 287.5 and then uh continue its way down um my broker is on update right now so i'm literally uh doing this watch list offline um let's get into the watch list first up is roku uh, i did watch the earnings after hours uh as expected roku had fantastic earnings and uh, we did see that people were already buying in uh before earnings overall right uh we also have a trend break from the 52 week highs right here and from the way it closed so good uh so so high up on its gains after hours i am anticipating a little bit of a run up pre-market um, that means we should get a gap up even more from uh, the 7050 now this essentially what happened today this is a breakout of 6850 so let's load up some drawings right here <clears throat> roku uh, breakout of 67 as well as 6850 right now okay the stock is very overextended. 68.50 is going to be uh, one of the main support that I'll be watching for it to pull back and test. Um, because of people buying into earnings at the open, I do anticipate a dip and uh, a little sell-off at the price discovery. And then by 10.30, it should find some sort of a stable bottom and start trending back up again. Okay, uh, so the plan is to see uh, how far it gaps up. Uh, we have the 52-week highs right here at around the 74.50 area. So uh, moving that down a little bit. Uh, definitely gonna mark it off. Let's see, let's check it, be precise. 74.35, okay? Uh, that's the 52-week highs. Ooh, nice hit right on. So I'm gonna mark that off. Um, with the stock being so strong, I do anticipate it to uh, hit up there tomorrow. Roku, when it has a positive day and uh, a run trend day, it can really, really run it. Basically, just trap shorts and squeeze, trap shorts and squeeze. And that's what I'm anticipating from Roku tomorrow. But first, um, a gap up in the pre-market and then a dip, hold to fill the gap, and then run. Okay. We also have broken out of a key psychological hole number of 70 so i'm going to mark that off as well uh, as green uh, coming over here on the daily chart the next level up here we have a uh, 7130 which is pretty close to uh, where it shot up to i'm definitely anticipating it to get as high as there in the pre-market so that's going to be resistance number one 
And then from there, uh, coming up over here, I see this 7250 level as a pretty key and a psychological number as well. It has tested before. So we're gonna mark that off. And uh, so this is 7250. And then this green candle at 73 is also a resistance area. So um, asking Roku to run this much, well, three points, not that much for Roku. I think if we are getting a gap up, it depends on the first pull, like uh, the profit taking dip, right? Um, it could not find bottom and just keep coming down. But I mean, I am expecting a gap up over these levels and then a pull down at the open and then find some sort of support around this area and rip back up. If it opens flat and dips out at the open, we do have support here at uh, 69.25 where it first dipped. I don't think it'll reach here though. I think it's gonna gap up definitely. And now here we have uh, three areas of support. So that's Roku. I'm gonna save that up. Nice long for tomorrow. Okay, um, save that up real quick. Um, next up we have MTCH Match. Uh, Match.com. Um, had earnings yesterday after hours. I actually missed this on my watch list and it ran stupid today. So um, with it getting up to 52 week highs and being so overextended, uh, even though it's on massive volume, I am anticipating a more of a consolidation day and a slow fade down day tomorrow. Uh, right now we are seeing key support here at 67, right? Oh, uh, 67.57 is the first support that I'm seeing. Okay, so let's mark that off. This is a key level right here. Uh, with it closing so well on its highs, I do anticipate a little bit of a gap up. Uh, Got to definitely mark off the high of days at 68.75. This is the 52 week high. And uh, with stocks breaking out 52 week highs on good catalysts, it's very dangerous to short because it can definitely run some more. Um, if I'm going to play the short and fade, I, I definitely want to see a confirm of like a double top and a lower high with volume, and then I want to get short. And from there, even on the short thesis, I don't think uh, MTCH will lose all its gains. That said, let's mark off some target levels. Um, a pretty generous level here is a 330 level uh 6765 so we'll call it 6750 i want to see that and then uh, we have right here at the 67 mark that's pretty key uh on the five minute chart this is where it actually bounces off of so let's do that I know 66 is going to be a key, key level that it will bounce off of. So from 66, uh, from 66.70 to 66, we have a support zone. So that's an easy, that's an easy watch. Oh, I just lost the screen. Just give me a second. Let me bring it back on real quick. Once again, I'm experiencing uh, internet issues. But 66, 67, some key numbers here. Okay. And uh, that's MTCH. I'm looking for a dip, uh, a little fade, uh, perhaps a test of the high of day. Uh, fade down. If it holds these support areas, ride it back up long. And we're going to play within this day's range, okay? Uh, more Leaning more to the long side because of the positive earnings catalyst. But this is... Uh, very overextended, so if it doesn't hold and prove that it can hold 66, uh, I will not long this until it finds a bottom here. So MTCH, I'm going to save the drawings here real quick. <clears throat> okay, uh, next up we have Lyft, L-Y-F-T. Um, Lyft was very interesting. Oh man, there's no daily chart on here. Okay, it's okay. I don't need the daily chart. Let's go to the minute and 60 minute, I guess. Okay, we got some data on here. 
Perfect. So um, what I want to see on lift here is uh, cover pop, pop and drop back up to 56, uh, 50s area right here, if possible. Okay, so from yesterday's lows. Uh, you know what, let's, yesterday's lows. Okay, from there I want to see a drop. Um, overall, I targeted this at, uh, on this final poll, I targeted this at uh, 52.50 and it almost hit. Uh, what I was looking at today was I was just measuring the moves, the down moves, right? So the first down move came down this much, right? And then it had like a consolidation right around here. And then even from here, it's more of a consolidation, right? And then here, consolidated. And then from here, we have the next down move. Now, measuring this down move, I basically took this uh, first down move and I plotted against this down move over here to find my target. And I was uh, looking at uh, around 52. So um, I do see it come down a little bit more. Perhaps this is wrong though. I mean, first down move actually bounced off from here. Let's see, finished here. Yeah, I mean, this is kind of like a, a way of measuring each leg down. You see how this leg came down over here and found support. And then this leg, this first leg, uh, came down and found support. So it's kind of like the same. So I am anticipating a pullback and a consolidation tomorrow. We have a key resistance here at 55. So definitely going to mark that off here. Um, it's actually prior IPO lows was uh, 54.30s, I believe. I can get more out of the chart because I don't have more of this daily chart. But this was a key level that it snapped, okay? And uh, looking at that, I'll be looking at 54, 50, 55, and finally 56, 50. But I don't think it can get as high as 56, 50. Let's bring it down to 56. And we'll see. Uh, looking for a cover pop and a drop. Um, anticipating it to come down even more to uh, 52 or 52.50 first, and then uh, find some sort of bottom and start consolidating again. Okay, so that's lift. Uh, three tickers for now. Oh, Facebook. Uh, I'm still looking for the gap fill day on Facebook. Um, today it had a doji day, so a consolidation day. Overall, it's making some sort of a wedge here from the consolidation. So depending on how this wedge breaks out, right? Uh, if I zoom out a little bit, you can see it's kind of like a, a bearish pennant. Okay, so it should snap down and continue the next leg. And if I'm using the same technique of measuring the moves, right? Uh, from here and then coming down, we should get a gap fill, right? If it snaps and this points towards around the one, 183 area. So I, I am looking for the gap fill here at 185, looking for a pop and drop, uh, definitely watching at today's highs, okay? At 191, 190.50s area, 330 high, right here. Okay, 190.60. So watching for a pop and drop from here, 190.60. If it reclaims 190.60, then uh, I'll just wait, okay? But it's overall, it's looking a little bearish. Uh, we have a doji day, so it can actually go both ways. I like it for the short and fill the gap, okay? Um, Baba, just want to talk about Baba real quick. I mean, uh, last night I put this on watch list and I said specifically watching for a dip from or a pop and drop from 183 and to the exact point of 183 over by 20 cents it dumped from there and it tested the lows again now next area we should be reaching here is 176.85 area 176.50 so i guess until it gets down to here it won't bounce it looking 
pretty weak right now. We'll see. We'll see how this 179 reacts tomorrow in the pre-market, but we are gapping down overall. Uh, so I am anticipating a gap down and then a pop and drop from 179, okay? Um, that's Bubba on a side watch. And that's basically it for my watch list this evening. If you enjoy the watch list, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. Uh, if you haven't already, check out the first link in the video description for the free trading competition. Uh, if you are wondering how I can nail these call outs so well um, on Bubba and Lyft last night, how I'm able to make plans and watch lists and trade off them, um, gotta thank Trick for that. He is my mentor, he's turned my trading around. So, um, definitely, if you're a struggling trader, uh, come check us out at Trick Trades. We do have a discount for newer members, uh, the coupon code also in the video link description. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys all bright and learning tomorrow. Ciao.